Okay, so um, I know it's been a couple of weeks uh, since the news broke about the new Ghostbusters casting. And um, initially I was going to say something when it first happened, but I kind of took a step back and I thought, well, if I do this, I'm probably going to say something I regret and that I don't mean. So I decided to take a little time, get a little more focused on it. Now, the other way probably would have been more entertaining, but it wouldn't have been the whole truth. And I, need, and I needed to kind of take a step back and look at things and hopefully a different perspective, I don't know. Um, so casting came out. It wasn't news that there was going to be an all-female all cast. Um, I just, I want to start off just by saying that this is coming from a guy who's grown up with this franchise since he was five years old. And it's, um, it's hard to really put a spin on, you know, have, be objective uh, towards this type of thing. Because you grow up a certain way, you know, you grow up, it's, you know, four guys busting ghosts with their, you know, Secretary Janine. And, you know, and that's the way it is, and that's the movies that you, you know, you love growing up, and now the whole dynamic is changing. Um, I'm one of the biggest Ghostbusters fans, or I don't know about the biggest, but I'm definitely right up there. I can quote the whole movie, um, you know, at, at any point, and it's, see, this is, uh, this video is kind of hard for me because I'm trying to be somewhat optimistic, but at the same time, I do realize there's problems. Uh, the first thing that I should probably, I really want to address is that, and I'm, I'm just going to say it straight out, I don't think all the Ghostbusters had to be female. I just don't. It's not that I don't think there should be female Ghostbusters. I do. In fact, that's what I was hoping for. I hope they put one or two females into the mix, into the uh, four Ghostbusters. But instead, all of them are Ghostbusters, and I'm, I feel bad about saying this, but that's just a straight up gimmick. I mean, there's, there's nothing really to that, and the, and the director of this new one, Paul Feig, he's directed nothing but women, so this is kind of one of those things that he's used to, and, and for some reason, Sony said, hey, that's okay. But we're in, a, we're in a time now where, you know, all female, you know, casting for certain movies is kind of the thing. Even, I mean, not even with that, too. I mean, like, uh, comic books is the same way. They just announced that the, their new Avengers team are going to be all female. There's an X-Men team right now that's all female. But, <laughs> try going back to an old joke Chris Rock said, like, just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. And I think the quote was, I can steer a car with my feet. It doesn't make it a good fucking idea. And that's kind of the same way I feel about Ghostbusters. I mean, just because you've had success with, like, say, Bridesmaid, for example, that doesn't mean that it's going to translate well to a Ghostbusters film, especially at least those two who are dedicated to the franchise. Um, so, I said that. The biggest thing, another thing, too, was that the internet, you know, you know, lost its freaking mind about was the casting. Now, three out of the four casting, I didn't mind. Kristen Wiig's funny. She's funny. Um, in my opinion, and you know that was I think that was kind of assumed uh, throughout the process. And then you got two more SNL ladies uh, that are funny that I didn't I didn't had no problem with whatsoever. And then there's Melissa McCarthy, which set everybody asunder. And I just want to say that I don't have Melissa I don't have anything against Melissa McCarthy as an actress. I'm sure she, I'm sure she's good with certain things, but my problem is is that her movies. Uh, even the ones directed by this guy, Bridesmaids in the Heat, they're all, she's playing almost essentially the same character, very butch. If she's not playing a butch character, she's playing, you know, a character that, you know, who's obviously overweight and likes to fall down a lot, and, you know, the audience laughs at it. That's not the kind of humor that this franchise is known for. It's not slapsticky. And I'm afraid casting her, they're going to feel compelled to do the same thing that they've done with her in the past, and I just don't think that's a good idea. Um, but then, you know, we could be surprised, who knows. Also, I all, you know, that's what I was initially mad about, that's what I was kind of fuming, you know, out the years about, but what it really came down to, what kind of really bothered me, uh, more than anything, was the director, when he, when they announced that it was going to be all female, the director, and I'm paraphrasing when I said that, Paul Feig said, making a movie that, um, that people, you know, are expecting you to do is lazy filmmaking. But my retort to that is, when you're making films using the same cast members and the same dynamic every single time, how is that less lazy? 
Okay, you're not you're not you're not thinking outside the box. You're thinking about what you've done previously that has worked for you and what you're used to. That's just as lazy as anything that anybody else could have done with this franchise. I'm sorry, that's just the way I feel about it. Now, taking the negative out, or taking that part away from it, and I'm gonna refresh this. Taking that out of it, um, I just the franchise probably just should have been left alone. Okay, I would love I would have loved to see another Ghostbusters movie twenty years ago, and the fact that you know if they did make another movie with the original cast, it was never going to be the movie you would want it to be anyway. I mean, let's be face it. I mean, let's let's face it. It's just um, nobody wants to see old Ghostbusters, you know, f you know, with bad backs carrying proton packs, and that would probably be a lot of the humor of the uh, of the third movie if they did that. So they went another direction. Now, another direction's fine, but you know, my thing in another and this is another thing. They're not this new movie that's coming out, the third one or the reboot, whatever they're calling it, um, is that. It doesn't make mention of anything of the other movies. It's like it's a whole new thing. And that's sad. It's sad. And it's sad because we're not we're probably not going to have those things that we we attribute to Ghostbusters. We're not going to have the proton packs the way that we're probably used to. They're probably going to be updated, which they probably should have been updated anyway, but it's probably going to be something a little bit more maybe sci-fi-ish where like it's attached to the wrist and they're wrangling ghosts and stuff like that. Um, you're not going to have the Ecto-1 in the same way that we had it before. Um, there might not be a Slimer, you know, kind of a mascot to the series and the cartoon. And a lot of these things are just going to be gone. It might not even be the same firehouse. They might have a completely separate office that that's not iconic at all. And we have to brace ourselves for that fact. And, and the fact that we have to brace ourselves for that is sad. It's sad for, you know, people who grew up with this franchise and love it. People my age and a little bit younger and older. And... It, it's, I don't know, I just, either way, either way they went with a third movie, in my opinion, is that it wouldn't have been the Ghostbusters that we would have wanted one way or the other. And I think at this point, the only thing that we could really hope for is not necessarily a perfect Ghostbusters movie, but at, at, at the very least an enjoyable one. But that's my thought. I'm trying to be optimistic about it as much as possible. What do you think? Am I completely off? Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Let me know because that's even better. Um, <clears throat> subscribe to Nerd Theory. I talk about movies. I talk about games. I talk about comics. I talk about television sometimes. Sometimes I do these videos and sometimes I do video reviews of games. And, you know, sometimes I stuff my face with with weird snacks that you've probably never seen before. So that could be a hoot. Also, uh, Facebook.com backslash uh, backslash Nerd, 30 ch nerd Theory channel, uh, and where I keep news up to date uh, as much as possible on everything that's going on in the entertainment industry. Also, I got some videos, probably going to be on this side somewhere, so click on those, see what you think. Uh, I'm, my name's Brian, and I'm out.